श्री राम विजया चैप्टर थर्टी फाइव रामा सेट शुका एट लिबर्टी हु वेंट टू रावणा एंड इन्फॉर्म्ड हिम ऑफ वॉट हैड हैपन टू हिम एंड हाउ ही हैड बिल्ट द सेतु ही रिक्वेस्टेड द डेमन किंग टू सबमिट टू द प्रिंस एंड रेस्टोर सीता टू हिम रावणा गॉट वेरी इंडिग्नेंट एंड सेट यू आर अलार्म्ड बिकॉज दे बीट यू इफ यू एडवाइज मी दैट वे अगेन आई शेल एट वंस कट ऑफ योर हैड सून आफ्टर रावणा सेंट टू डेमेंस शुका एंड surna to suvela to ascertain the position of the army of rama the two demons in the form of monkeys mixed themselves with the monkeys belonging to the army of the prince vibhishana informed rama that the demons had come to suvela in the form of monkeys to ascertain the position of his army whereupon rama ordered the monkeys to allow the demons to cut their numbers to count their numbers the two demons were accordingly taken round the whole army they having seen it returned to lanka and said to the demon king rama has got a large army of monkeys and it will be very difficult for you to defeat it we therefore implore you to submit to rama and restore sita to him ravana was enraged and threatened them that he would cut off their heads if they advised him that way he then accompanied by the two demons went to the top of his tower to see the army of rama Vibhishana came and informed the prince that the demon king has had gone to his tower to have a look at his army and while he was there Sugriva jumped from Suvela which was at a distance of hundreds of miles from Lanka and returned to his camp with the with the with the mukut of Rama uh, Ravana with the mukut of ravana i repeat this again sugriva jumped from suvela which was at a distance of hundreds of miles from lanka and returned to his camp with the with the mukut of ravana the demon king was alarmed and immediately came down from upstairs a few days after he said to his courtiers i have now no patience i must marry sita as soon as possible if any of you make her love me and marry me i shall be ever grateful to him whereupon his minister vidya jeeva vidya jeeva who was well versed in magic and sorcery replied i shall create by means of sorcery a head well cut and similar to that of rama and also a dhanush bana and show them to sita so that she may be convinced that her husband has been killed if she is convinced of it she will become hopeless and easily love you and marry you i am very much thankful to you for your excellent scheme replied ravana there is no doubt you will succeed in it Vignjiva Vignjiva accordingly created the head of Rama and his Dhanush bana Ravana then came to the Ashoka forest and said to Sita I am very sorry to Ravana then came to Ashoka forest and said to Sita I am very sorry to inform you that your darling husband is killed and that his brother Lakshmana has fled to Ayodhya Maruti Sugriva Nala Nila Angada and all other warriors are also killed you are alone here what can you do now you are helpless i therefore beseech you to marry me you shall be my first wife and mandodari will be your maid servant alas sita rama is no more believe me if you want any proof of what i say here is the head of your rama cut off by a demon and here is his dhanush bana as soon as sita beheld the head of rama and his dhanush bana she fainted in her grief she said to ravana i look upon you as my father and implore you to order a pile of wood to be arranged so that i may set fire to it and burn myself in it i do not wish to live any longer in this world as soon as he heard these words he returned to his court leaving sita alone there chapter completed jay shri ram